So you've got a Monoprice Select Mini Pro. You've got a Anycubic Photon Resin Printer. So what could be better? Don't go away and I'll tell you. Hey gang, it is Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful and quivery North Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, indeed, it is July 4th. Happy 4th of July to all of you. And here in Las Vegas, about 10 minutes ago, we just had an earthquake. Now, if you live in California, that's the year probably, oh, whatever, no big deal. But here, my house was rocking and rolling, okay? It was pretty uh, intimidating. I gotta, gotta be honest with you. I guess it was like a, a 6.6 .6 somewhere near Bakersfield. So uh, it, it rocked the heck out of us here in, in Vegas uh, as well. My whole house was rocking and rolling. So anyhow, well, it is 4th of July and I've got a little time to kill before we break out the barbecue and hit the pool and do some fireworks and stuff. Safe and sane, of course. Um, so I thought I would work a little bit of my video magic just for you. All right, so at the top of the show, I asked you what could be better than having an Anycubic Photon and a Monoprice Select Mini Pro? And the answer is having a third printer, an Ender 3. Oh, yes, I have an Ender 3 now. I'm going to add it to my corral of ponies here and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited about this thing. So let's go ahead, get it set up, do some test prints and I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so the Ender 3 comes flat packed uh, in, in a big box like this and, and there is a good amount of assembly uh, it, with this, this printer. It, it's probably going to take me a good two, two plus hours, two and a half hours, something like that. But I didn't mind it at all because that's the kind of guy I am. I have the skills to do this and I enjoy this kind of thing. So it really wasn't an issue. If you are not up to building this, uh, maybe this isn't even the hobby for you. I, I, I don't want to say it's not. I'm just saying that, you know, it seems odd that if... if you're tar turned off by the idea of having to put this together and you're trying to get into 3D printing, it, it seems to be an oxymoron to me. So um, I I took this just as a challenge and it, it's the kind of stuff I like doing so I wasn't intimidated at all. I found a great video to help guide me through it. I'm going to put a link to that down below. And uh, I just followed that along. Now I will tell you, that uh, I guess I got a little too bold and too cocky in my, my assembly skills, and I, I did some stuff wrong. And it ended up paying, uh, I ended up paying a price for it in that um, I couldn't get my bed leveled after I got it together, so I ended up having to actually take a good part of it back apart and uh, figure out where I had screwed things up and I had to fix those. But once I got that done, the printer started printing immediately and really nicely so it, it really wasn't an issue now if I was going to give a, a, a scale let's, let's call it a uh, scale of one to four okay one to four um, a scale on the skills that you need you know the mechanical uh, skills that you need to put this together I wouldn't call it a one and I wouldn't call it a three I'd say a, 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 a high two Okay, a high two. Now, if you have a zero or something like that, this may not be for you. But almost anybody can build this, I think. Uh, so, you know, it comes with all the tools you need. You don't really need anything else. Have the video that I'm going to link because this guy's really got it dialed in together. And he tells you a lot of the pitfalls and easier ways to do it rather than just blindly following the instructions. And if you do that, you're not going to have any troubles. The biggest issues I found was getting my uprights parallel. My uprights bowed out 
and he warns you about that. But I couldn't get them to come together uh, closer than, say, two plus millimeters apart at the top, uh, too far. Then uh, that ended up causing a problem that when I ended, ended up eventually getting that fixed, it ended up making my crossbar, where, uh, where the print head travels, it ended up making it sag too low, so it was not traveling uh, horizontally. It was, you know, off, and which made it why it was so difficult to, to level the bed. So anyhow, after getting it all together and getting it upstairs, uh, where I say that I had to do some repairs to my, uh, my build, um, you know, uh, I found out what my problems were, and I started to address them one, one at a time. And here I am trying to get that crossbar level. And I got to tell you, it, it was not easy, because you have to put it on, measure it, adjust it, take it off, you know, blah, 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 big circle. And I had to take it on and off about 15 times to get it just right. But it made it worth it in the end because once I got it on there, it was easy to level the bed. Everything worked fine and happy as a clam with this thing. So for the price of this, I was really happy with it. And once I got everything set up, I decided to go ahead and attempt the, uh, the test file, the uh, little doggy. And as you can see, he came out great. A great first layer. He stuck, he printed, and he looked amazing. So I decided to try something a little more ambitious. 65 hours. 65 hours. Let's take this off of here. Between this filament and the quality of the print, I really have to say I am blown away thus far. Uh, the whole thing has made me very happy. So what about print sticking to the bed? Oh, brother, did this stick to the bed? I couldn't get it off. Now, I, I found that this bed actually has a little bit of flex in it, and that's all I really needed to do to get this sucker off. But at this point, it stuck on there so good that, man, I, I was fighting to get this thing off of here. It was incredible how, how adhered it was to this bed. So, um, yeah, basically, it's got a little flex to it. Give it a little flex, it'll pop right off. Save yourself a headache. I, I didn't know. I, I thought I had to scrape it off. I, I didn't know. They sent you a scraper. What the hell? Not only will your print stick, it'll go stick well. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Okay, so here it is. Okay. And, uh, uh, I'll have to beep that word out, but this tree support, uh, which look at that, that just kind of pops off. Look, at, it looks like a long flowing nose hairs. Can you see that? Oh, I need to trim my nostril hairs <laughs> so that I might have a baby because I am a, a fertility idle okay oh one right on the eyeball seriously you had to have a a support on the eyeball okay so this was 65 hours and 44 minutes and so far i am loving the tree support thing because it's way less obtrusive Oh my gosh! A kama babuso, chupaso. <laughs> Whatever he says, I don't know what he says. Look at a little dude down there. Coming, I'm assuming that's coming out of the VJ. And look here. Okay. Oh yeah. This is this is gonna be big, big fun. What do you think? Oh, Batman. I'll uh, oh, come, come here, Batman. I'm sorry that I must kill you now. <laughs> okay, so I'm keeping that for sure.
Okay, so there is the finished fertility idol, and you have to admit that that looks pretty badass. And it prompted me to want to print a couple other prints. The uh, Staff of Ra, the headpiece to the Staff of Ra, also from Indiana Jones. Now, yeah, you see a little stringing there, but ultimately the headpiece came out really amazing too. And then I bought a little bag of gems and put the gem in there. And you actually could print a base, a display base, which I then painted like rocks and put a bunch of moss around. And here is my printer as it sits today in its little cabinet, ready to go and ready to print. Okay, so there you have it, my Ender 3 in, in high gear cranking out prints for me. Um, so what do I think about it? Okay, let's start by just talking briefly about the price. Um, man, you can't beat the price of this $230. I, think $30. I, I eventually added a glass bed and some other little things. But, you know, for $230, you, you, you're printing. Um Pretty amazing, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the the price right there. So that you total score. Now, as far as the assembly, I, I think some people will bitch about it. And, you know, I, some people will bitch about anything, but at the end of the day, I'm doing a partial assembly of something because it only cost me two hundred thirty dollars instead of seven or eight hundred dollars or whatever. You you want to get something? Uh, top of the line that doesn't need assembly then then go ahead and spend the money for me this was a bargain and i actually enjoyed the assembly uh process um as far as print quality yes there are things you have to tend to and the very first thing i would tell you to do is replace your bed springs the others are going to be too loose and you're going to have a hard time uh, leveling your bed which is going to cause print problems and the bed can jostle while you're printing because the springs aren't good enough so replace your springs and probably your Bowden tube connectors. Uh, I'll put links down below for those things so you can order those and, and do it right when you're make, doing your initial assembly. But overall, I think this thing is a hell of a bargain and it is a great printer. I plan on it serving me well for a very long time and I absolutely recommend this to you guys. Um, you know, if, if you're a gazillionaire and you can afford something 100 times better then spend a hundred times more and get it. But otherwise, this is a great printer for you. Okay, so there you have it. The Ender 3, it's set up, it's running, and I love the thing. Okay, I'm super happy with it. Now, there's a couple little things going on. First of all, um, in my Prusa LAC uh, cabinet thing that I made for my 3D printers, I didn't realize that the Ender wasn't going to fit. So I had to actually print out a bunch of new pieces take the top part apart, put the new pieces in, and, and reassemble it, order new plastic and stuff, the whole nine yards, to make that fit. So that was a, a little bit of a, a disappointment. Since I've gotten it and gotten it set up, I have added a uh, glass bed from Creality. Now, I was not having any problems at all with the bed that it came with. Um, but I've heard such good things about the glass bed and it was so affordable I went ahead and ordered one and I've switched to it and I love it. The other one was so good though, it is a, a backup that I completely trust. It's going to get stored away safely, so should something ever happen to my glass bed, I have this and I won't miss a beat. Um, I do believe I've got a little bit of a clog and so I'm going to be doing a little bit of work to it uh, today and tomorrow, I'm going to pull the nozzle, I'm going to pull both Bowden connectors, the Bowden tube, and I'm actually going to pull off the extruder. Tomorrow I should be getting a an all-metal extruder, and I'm going to put that onto my printer, the new Bowden connectors, some Capricorn, Capricorn, say that three times fast, Capricorn, 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 oh, I guess it's easier than it seems. Anyhow, say, so we're going to put some Capricorn, uh, tubing on there and uh, a brand new nozzle and uh, get all that spiffied all up. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy this machine and I love the ability to print so much bigger than the uh, the uh, Mono Price Select Mini Pro allows me to do. Now, if you're out there saying, well, do I need both? Well, no, you don't need both. But I will tell you, I've had both machines printing at the exact same time, 
and it's really a nice thing to be able to have the top one doing the bigger thing in one color, the bottom one doing something else, you know, we use another color. So it's been a, a really nice thing to have both of them. So um, where you start and where you expand to, or if you expand, that's going to be your decision. Uh, but today, really, the topic was strictly about the Ender 3, and I love it, and I can't tell you enough to go out and go get yourself one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the little bell, and you'll be notified any time I release a new video. If you have any questions or comments, ask them down below, and you'll also find links to everything we've talked about today down there as well. Um... But I really hope you enjoyed things. It's the 4th of July, so I am going to get out of here, and I'm going to do my best impression of uh, Jimmy Chestnut and shove about a 3 million pounds of hot dogs down my gullet. I hope you do the same. I hope you have an amazing, wonderful 4th of July. And, and no matter where you land in the political spectrum, maybe just for today we can put aside our differences and all just remember that we are just one thing americans all right this is paul from fat guy productions wishing you a great fantabulous patriotic day until next time be good